So I remember as a child thinking a lot of sayings made a lot of sense. Like when someone came in and thought they were really better than everybody else, we'd say things like, who do you think you are? Or who died and made you king or queen? And what we really meant was, you put on your pants one leg at a time like everybody else. And you're just a human being. You're not perfect. You're not all that in a bag of chips. But God says, I love you with every fiber of my being. But there is a reason you need to know who you are. So here's what we learn from Romans 12 as we continue our Lenten devotionals in verses three through seven. It says in the NIV, for by grace, by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the faith that God has distributed to each of you. For just as each of us has one body with many members, and all these members do not have the same function, so in Christ, we who are many form one body, and each member belongs to the other. Now, if that seems a little too churchy for you, try this version. Because of the privilege and authority God has given me, I give you this warning. Don't think you are better than you really are. Be honest with yourselves by the faith God has given you or us, just as our bodies have many parts and each part has a special function, so it is with Christ's body. We are many parts and one body and we all belong to each other. So what he's really saying here is this, that we are part of the body of Christ and that makes us together special. It makes us individually special. But we're all special in not just we're better than everybody else way. We're special in the sometimes we need the special bus way. Sometimes we just don't get it, but God loves us anyway. And each of us has places where we are both of those things. Sometimes we're better at one or the other, but all of us are a mixture. We know in ourselves that everything is not always perfect in our lives even if we try to make everybody else think it is. And we know in ourselves that there are things that make us afraid and make us want to curl up in a ball like a baby and just ball. So God says, look at yourself as you really are, not as how you hope you are or how you fear you are, but how you really are. Be sincere in that. Have sober judgment. That means not like you're drunk, not like you were drunk on being high with yourself. And then here's my challenge to you. If you're ready to do this, if you're ready to take this step, because I really think it's part of our Lenten journey to look at ourselves with integrity. Where are we really spiritually? Ask someone who knows you well. And one thing they love about you and... One thing they think you might not know about yourself. Listen for the truth about yourself that you might have missed. Take what you learn or don't to God and ask him to show you how much he loves you and how much he wants to grow you. Because both are true. God says all of our lives, we are to have that sober judgment that we love God, but never as much as we want, never as much as the God who is love. And that's my challenge to you this week and my prayer for you. See you next time.